hey guys welcome back to the video hope you all are doing good so if your laptop is turning on but not starting maybe it only shows the logo and then goes to a blank screen i will show you the error which i am facing in my laptop you can see the logo and then there is a blank screen so in this video i will show you some troubleshooting steps you can apply to fix this so let's start the video first you have to switch off your laptop so press and hold the power key and switch off your laptop after that you have to remove your laptop battery so remove your laptop battery carefully and one more thing unplug your laptop charger as well after that you have to press and hold the power key for 15 to 20 seconds so press and hold this power key for at least 15 to 20 seconds okay after that you have to reinstall your laptop battery and plug in your laptop charger now you have to press the power key okay so press the power key and switch on your laptop if you see this kind of error now you have to press enter to reboot your system so on your keyboard you have to press the enter key to reboot your system again now wait for few seconds if you are still getting the same issue move on to the next method you can try now in the next method we are going to open laptop bios bios settings so first switch off your laptop press and hold the power key and switch off your laptop after that you have to open the bios settings so in my hp laptop i can use this skip key to open the bios or i can use this f10 key to open the bios in my hp laptop so i will show you how to open the bios settings so start your laptop then start pressing this skip key to open the bios settings now you can see this startup menu now you have to select this option bios setup okay so press the down arrow key and select this bios setup option now you have to go to this advanced tab so click on this advanced tab after that you have to click on to this option boot options now scroll down scroll down and then you can see my hard drive is showing as you can see this is my ssd hard drive of 256 gb so my hard drive is showing in bios so that means there is no hardware issue now the next step will be you have to move your hard drive to the top or make your hard drive as a first boot so you have to select your hard drive then move it to the top and set your hard drive as a first boot in your bios settings so do the same thing select your by uh, select your hard drive move your hard drive to the top and set your hard drive as a first boot in bios okay now you have to click on the save option and one more thing make sure this legacy boot order is also tick okay make sure this option is tick now you have to click on this save option to save the changes so click on save after that click on yes now go back to the main menu go to main option then click on this op option save changes and exit then click on yes now your laptop will restart and you have to wait for few seconds if you are still getting the same issue move on to the next method so in the next method we are going to run hardware diagnose so with the help of this hardware diagnose we can scan our hard drive so first you have to shut down your laptop so press and hold the power key and shut down your laptop after that in hp laptop i can use this escape key to run the hardware diagnose so first i will press the escape key and you will see these kind of option now you have to select this option system diagnostic or i can also use this f2 key to run this option directly so you have to select this system diagnostic option press enter now you have to select your hard drive so you have to select the second option hard drive check so select this option then you have to press enter now there are two options quick and extensive so i will go for the quick option quick check so press enter select quick check then press enter now the process has been started this will take few minutes now you have to wait for few minutes now you can see the result so my hard drive is passed 
so there is no hardware issue in my hard drive but if you see any kind of error that means there is a issue with your hard drive so in that case you have to replace or reconnect your hard drive in your laptop okay if you see the same error in the next method we are going to use this windows 10 bootable usb flash drive if you don't have this kind of bootable usb flash drives i already created a video about how to create windows 10 bootable flash drive so i will put that video link in the description box so first you have to connect your usb flash drive to your laptop and you have to boot your laptop with this usb bootable flash drive i will show you how to do this first switch on your laptop and then start pressing this escape key so in hp laptop you can use this escape key to open a boot menu in hp laptop now you have to select this option boot menu so press the down arrow key and then select this option boot menu or i can also use this f9 key this f9 key to open boot menu directly in hp laptop so i can also use this f9 key now select the boot menu and then press enter to boot your laptop with this usb bootable flash drive if you see this kind of error or you are not able to boot from your usb bootable flash drive in that case you have to set your usb bootable flash drive as a first boot in your bios settings so i will show you how to do this first open bios settings so press the escape key and then click on or select this option bios setup press enter so this will open the bios settings now you have to click on this advanced tab click on the advanced tab then click on this option boot options scroll down and here you can see my usb flash drive is showing in bios settings now you have to move your usb flash drive to the top or set your usb bootable flash drive as a first boot like this do the same thing now click on save to save the changes then click on yes then go to this main menu then click on this option save changes and exit now your laptop will restart and boot from your usb bootable flash drive wait for a couple of minutes and you will see uh, these kind of options click on next so click on this next button now you have two options install now or repair your computer so you have two options go for the second option repair your computer click on it and this will show you these kind of options click on troubleshoot now here you will see this option uninstall updates so click on it so there are two updates you can uninstall the first one is latest quality update and the second one is latest feature update so you have to uninstall both the updates one by one click on the first one then click on uninstall then click on close after that again click on troubleshoot go to uninstall updates now select the second one latest feature update click on uninstall then click on close now you have to restart your system and check if you are getting the same error move on to the next method you can try click on troubleshoot then click on system restore so this option will help you to restore your system to the back date and in the most cases this will fix the issue but in my system this option is not working click on troubleshoot again and after that click on this option command prompt now here you have to type a command so this command checks your hard drive for errors and fix them so type this command carefully then press enter and this command will take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete after completing this command cut this window and restart your system and check if you tried all the steps but still getting the same error the final method you can try is reinstall windows in your laptop i will show you how to reinstall windows 10 in your laptop first you have to boot your laptop with this windows 10 bootable usb flash drive so boot your laptop with this bootable pen drive after that click on next so click on next after that click on install now wait for a few seconds tick this option then click on next now you have to select the custom install click on this option custom install so this will show you your hard drive so create a partition 
then install Windows 10 in your laptop. I already created a video about how to install Windows 10 in your laptop step by step. So I will put that video link in description box so you can check out that video as well. So these are the few methods you can try. This is all for the video. Thank you.